Hi everybody, in today's Sonic Pi lesson we are going to talk about new ways that we can generate random patterns using some additional uh, functions and commands outside of the dot choose which we've been doing. Um, this will give us some more options to add randomness to generate some interesting patterns that maybe we cannot come up with ourselves, all right? So um, just as a quick reminder here, so I'm going to show, so I'll, I'm going to make a live loop. I'm just going to call it maybe a scale. Uh, so just to remind us sort of what we already know how to do. So I'm going to play a scale here. I'm going to start it out with a number. I'll maybe I'll just do this alien here. And I could do dot choose and then I sleep for 0 0.5. So this is a way for me to generate a random pattern uh, by using dot choose from a scale. I could make an array, I could make a ring. If I want to create my own uh, specific random pattern here, I could um, do that. And then using uh, a dot times do, I could also then just create a 16 note randomly chosen pattern that I can repeat. So we know how to do that. Um, so now let's look at some other ways that we can add some randomness uh, into our code here. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. Or actually, I'll just um, comment it out and move it way out of the way here. OK, so uh, there is another command in Sonic Pi. And I'm going to use a live loop here again uh, because I'll call it randy. Um, just so it'll be constantly going and it'll constantly generate some new ideas. All right, so I'm going to do .play. And I'm going to do something called rrand, okay? And rrand is kind of like the random function in P5JS, if you've been following along with that. So I'm going to maybe do a sleep for 0 0.5 on that. Now rrand, the first R stands for range, okay? So it's asking for a range of numbers and it will pick a random number between those two uh, ranges that you give it. So you give it a minimum and a maximum. So I'm gonna say maybe between zero or 40 and 100, okay? So if I play, and we can kind of watch the console and it'll say note and it'll tell us exactly which one it plays. Okay, so I can follow over here. the random patterns that it generates there okay but you'll notice all these numbers 71.3257 97.1813 so our rand will give us decimal point numbers okay so that's going to really go a lot of possibilities because 97.1838 is not the same according to sonic pi as 97.1837 or 1839 all right so it's going to give a lot of different things there. Now, let's just say I want it to have this uh, a just whole numbers. OK, so to do that, I just do R rand underscore I and the I stands for integer. So now when I run it. OK, now I get just whole numbers here. OK, so 96, 46, 85, 45. Right, so that is how our rand works. Now I could then say I want to, along with sleep, our rand, and in sleep I am going to do decimal points, maybe between like 0 0.25 uh, and 1.0. Now note I I don't need to add like dot tick or dot choose because the command itself is saying here there's a minimum value and a maximum value, and I want you to pick a random number between those. something I can build a beat off of, but uh, can certainly now have some random things uh, going on there, all right? And so that's basically it. But you, anytime you need some sort of random value here, you could do that, all right? So let's say I want to do play. I'm going to actually, instead of play, I'm going to use sample. No sample. I'll maybe do like this elect beep. And let's say I want to do... Uh, R pitch, 
Okay, and I'm going to do a random between, let's say, 1 and 5. Okay, and then I will just sleep for 0 0.5 here. Okay, so this is going to change sort of the rate of this as well as the pitch. Okay, maybe I even want to make that, maybe let's even go to 24, and let's go this fast to see what we... Okay. So now I'm easily able to get a whole range of numbers that I can play around the, with this electric beat okay and that's one way I could do it I'll show another way maybe with uh, I'm gonna use like a drum close symbol here so let's say I want to make like a more realistic sounding hi-hat like someone actually playing that I'm gonna do a random amp between maybe like 0 0.4 and This makes it sound a little more realistic because you figure as a person playing the drums, you're not going to hit it exactly the same force every single time. If you hit it a little harder, it'll be a little louder. If you hit it a little softer, it'll be a little quieter. So if I use a random amp and kind of make it just slightly, not a huge range here, but enough that it'll make a difference, it maybe will give it a more realistic sound. Okay, so those are some ways that you can use R Rand as a way to add some randomness and that can generate interesting patterns, uh, interesting rhythms, interesting melodies, also be used to add maybe a bit more realistic sound to what you are trying to do. Okay, so in the next video, I will show you how to use conditional statements. Uh, so if statements in your code, so you can actually have choices as to what might happen in your code as far as the music that's going to play.